Wait, I have another idea. Let's go to Italy's best coffee shop. I already made another video about how the local coffee shops fail at living up to that Italian coffee experience and why I make my coffee at home. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. In all my travels around Italy, I found one super coffee shop and for me, luckily, that's here in Florence. Today I'm gonna to take you to Dita Artigianale, their new, their third coffee shop opening here in town and I'm gonna show you why it's the best. Look at it, here it is right here. I've never been inside this place. I'm super excited to check it out. Mm. So good. Now this has everything you want in the Italian coffee experience. Baristas slaving away at the machines back there. Customers knocking back espressos at the bar. And the overall vibe, because after all, this is Florence. Now there is substance to back up this coffee shop. Francesco Sanapo and Patrick Hoffer began this coffee shop a decade ago, back in 2013. Well, they first started roasting coffee beans, supplying coffee shops, then they opened up their first coffee shop, which is about 500 meters away from here, really in the heart of Florence. Then they opened up their second one, which is over near my house, and my favorite coffee shop to visit. I'm always there, and now this one, my first time here in this third coffee shop in Piazza Sant'Ambrogio, the Sant'Ambrogio area. Unlike many of the coffee shops that pride themselves on having Italian coffee. Dita Artigianale, when the locals and tourists come in, they deliver. It does so with specifically sourced coffee beans. They've made the trips to South America and other locations to meet the farmers, visit the plantations, and find the perfect coffee beans for their roastery and for the coffee shops. They roast their own beans so they control what they're using here in the coffee shop with specific roast and blends. Now they train and support their baristas to a level you don't normally see in Italy. Some go on to compete in national and global championships, and basically all of this ensures that you're getting an excellent cup of coffee. A little break to try a coffee from a normal bar right here near the Duomo. Let's go over there and order a cappuccino. Actually, this doesn't look that bad. Pretty horrible. Remember, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Now back to Dita Artigianale. Look at this beautiful location. It's built in an ex-convent. They also have seating outside here and it's a perfect place to relax if you want to get some fresh air and get away from all that music inside the coffee shop. Now most coffee shops in Italy, they fail at delivering innovation across the counter. They make your espressos, they make your cafe macchiato, they make your cappuccinos, but a lot of the times the milk is not frothed right or the coffee beans come from some unknown source. Looking around the world, the consumers want so much more and that matters when introducing your clients, your local clients to new drinks and satisfying the large number of tourists that are in Italy and here in Florence. On the menu, Dita Artigianale has all the usual drinks, but they also have other drinks like flat whites, pour overs, the AeroPress, drips, cold brew, and I even saw a cold brew tonic they were just making in there. I gotta try that one out. I made another coffee video about Starbucks in Italy, and I'll link that down below. Many of you are saying, yeah, they suck the soul out of coffee here in Italy. Yeah, that's true, but they offer variety and convenience, and that's forcing many of the coffee shops to step up their game. Dita Artigianale had already stepped up its game. It's the alternative for the Italian purist with variety and soul and everything else you'd want in a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. 